put some craft finds away with me. As you guys know, in my craft closet, I have a to be put away bag and it's really full. So let's put it away. Let's start off with this tissue paper because it was barely hanging on. Yes, I am the kind of gal who collects all the tissue paper and gift bags at any birthday or holiday event. I am all about reusing materials, especially if you have somewhere to store it. So after the tissue paper is put away, let's go ahead and get the bag out. I start off by sorting everything and what type of bin it's going to go into. It looks like a lot of junk, but I promise we really do use this stuff. Let's start off with the stickers. I have two sticker bins, this one for smaller stickers and a bigger bin for big sheets. These were all small, so I put them in here. Sometimes I find it easier to grab an entire stack of bins and just go from there. These googly eyes came in a craft kit that we didn't use, and so I'm gonna add them to our regular googly eyes. And does anyone need that many? Absolutely not. But I have a rule, if I have the room, then I'll save them. And speaking of that rule, this bin is getting pretty full. I'm thinking I need to go through it soon. If I have room, I save something, otherwise something's gotta go. Next up, I have buttons. I have this smaller container to separate by color, and then I have a whole bunch of browns, whites, and blacks that sit in the bottom. I think it just helps me find different colors quicker. My daughter was recently digging through our tech stickers, so I do have a lot of those to put away. She was wanting to decorate her items for school, so she had a whole bunch out and then threw them in the bag because why put them away when you could just put them in the bag? This started out as a scissors and hole punch container, but it ended up being kind of all of craft tools, which really does work for us. I have two different bins for glues and adhesives. Adhesives are like 3M's, Velcro, um, sticky tape, and of course those little sticky dots I got for my trinket shelf. We keep a lot of different kinds of pens and paint pens, markers in our craft closet, so I'm going to put those away. These Posca pens stain, so they do go into our paint cart. I want my kids to be extra careful with those. This little perler bead set is my son's, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in my daughter's bin. And I felt like these were kind of pipe cleaner adjacent, so I'm going to put them in the pipe cleaner container. When I purchased school supplies, I got a ton of extra glue sticks, so I'm going to throw those in there. And then I can't get this bead out, so it lives there now. We'll never get through all those glue sticks before some dry out. I love this container overall. The wooden letters and the pom-poms are working perfect, but the two bottom are not working for me. The miscellaneous one is nuts. You can tell there's just kind of like everything thrown in here, but it's the easiest way to store it for me for now. The snapping is kind of difficult, but it, it again is working for now. And the bottom is definitely not working. I had these organized one time, but the dividers slide up and down. And so charms are sliding from one section to the other underneath the divider. And so I'm thinking about buying something new for these types of items. So stay tuned for that. Although I really like how I can carry that all around in one piece. Let's move on to the beads. These are not the most ideal containers for these because if I were to fall on the way to or from the craft closet, I think I might cry. But it's been working for us for now, knock on wood. And we have a ton because my daughters love to make bracelets and they sell them at their lemonade stand in the summertime. I like it and I encourage the creativity. Moving on to more gift items, I do have this extra handkerchief that I found. I forgot I had gotten a long time ago. It's a Roy Rogers vintage handkerchief, so I'm going to put that in gift linens. And this little drawstring bag for jewelry gifts, I'm going to put in that box. And yes, I promise I will show you if I wrap any kind of gifts in the future using gift linens. This is just an extra little piece of parchment paper for my daughter's perler beads, so I'm going to put it in her bin. And these are some extra craft pieces. I have two bins for crafts. This one is for actual craft pieces that were meant to be used for crafts. And then these are put into my random for crafts, which is just random things around the house I find and think might be useful in the future. I have some ribbon and string to put away. And as you guys know, this area is not working for me. I haven't liked these bags for a really long time. So I think I'm going to put them in these new zipper bags. They're a little bit more sturdy and easier to compress, so I think it'll organize it better. A more organized person would probably take all this ribbon and roll them up into individual pieces and make it where it wasn't just a big wadded ball of ribbon, but you know what? Maybe I'll get there someday. Today is not that day. Just moving them from the plastic baggies to these zipper bags is a win for me, and it's already going to make it so much easier for me to find what I'm looking for. As you tell, I go by color. I do have these multicolored ones, and then I have just a small amount of purple and green, so I'm going to put those both together. Putting them in this bin like this just made my heart so happy. I am very satisfied. But that is it. The to be put away bag is empty and ready to be filled again. Thanks for coming along, guys. If you'd like to see more of my thrift organization, just let me know because I love to organize. Have a good day.